Good morning. Uh, I'm Cindy Vincents, and I was here last week, and I went home, and I found some things that I decided that I'm going to make this my memorial area for my dad and um, my uh, family farm that's up north in Iowa uh, back in the 1800s, late 1800s. And what I brought uh, was some things off of the horse harnesses um, from my family farm. And uh, along with a little, uh, some sayings uh, along with it, believe in miracles and inspire. And then I'm just staying kind of afloat with my little uh, bobber from my, uh, my brother that had passed away. Um, it was from his fishing tackle box. So I'm going to make it a memorial. And so I brought pictures of my farm and stuff, of what it represents, and all of my loved ones that have passed on. So this is going to be where we all meet. And while I was here, I decided to, I'm a holistic um, nurse, and I decided to make um, the chakra colors of, uh, for the healing in our auras. And that's... There you go. Okay. And um, starting with uh, red root, orange, yellow, green, white meeting red in the middle, pink, blue, purple, indigo, and on up to the white, brilliant white, and uh, spectacular from uh, light. And uh, meet me at the tree, because I want to be there. And I expect you there, too. Bye. <laughs> well, it all began with a vision in a tree, which I have wanted to do for years and years and years. And the idea of kinetic art and kinetic energy and connecting people, bringing people together with their stuff and bringing not only their objects to life, but also this tree in a, in a way that... Um, we forget our history. This is one of four trees planted at four important corners in Boynton Beach in the days when trees signified important places. Hi, my name is Paulo Slater. Um, I came today to do this assemblage for the Kapok tree. And I thought it was an interesting project because as quickly as you go to lay something down, you might find, actually, I don't really like it there. I think I'm gonna move it here. So even though everything seems so random, there is actual um, interest in where you should place things. And you won't discover that until you start playing with the pieces and moving them around. And um, so I brought some stuff and there was a lot of stuff here for us to use and um, there's still plenty more to do. So um, I'd like to thank everybody for allowing us to have this opportunity and uh, we'll meet you at the tree. Hi, my name is Kianga Janaki and I'm here making my kinetic connection to be a part of the exhibit in February to be a part of the big magnificent tree. And these are the things that I collected and I actually just picked stuff just because I like the way it looked or I like the shape. Um, I, I got a thing for circles as you can see and portals that's what I'm calling it. So I'm so looking forward to the finished product. I'm very excited about being a part of this groundbreaking community art thingy. It's really, really good. So, come out, make your peace, and meet me at the tree. Peace. Hi, my name is Diane Rosenberg. I'm here participating and volunteering for the Kinetic Connections event, um, headed by Elena Toby. I'm uh, really excited to be here today, and uh, I created a piece um, from some stuff that I found and found here, so I guess not really a found, found object, but there's some found stuff in here as well. Um, 
I like to go a little top down and, and you know, it's like a tiny piece and then it ends with a, like a really large kind of heavier piece at the bottom um, to give it weight. And, uh, and I like the combination of the metal and this, this here is wood. So in art, it's, it's really great to see how man-made metal and then something that's created by nature but shaped by man kind of fits together and it's in the, in the middle of the piece. To, to give it the, uh, the center, I guess. Um, and I love this coil. These coils are fabulous. I don't know, and it, it still has a little bit of grease on it, which I love. Um, it's still kind of, you know, if you take the bones out of a body, it's still gonna have little, some little pieces of blood and stuff on it. So it's a really nice kind of metaphor, I guess. Anyway, I found this piece walking. It's a little key to like a diary. So somebody's diary is unopened or unlocked, who knows. And this piece I also found walking in a park, and I thought it was kind of, I don't know if you can see, mm -hmm. it's a really interesting piece. It's been rusted and twisted, so that's that's my pieces. So, and this one has really great, like, lettering on it. Anyway, so I hope you enjoy. It's great. I hope everybody comes out and uh, and meet me at the tree. Hi, I'm artist Elena Toby, and I'm excited to invite you to participate in Kinetic Connections, a community art project where together we're going to transform a historic tree into a kinetic sculpture. It's easy, it's fun, and it's an opportunity to reimagine our ordinary things as art and in the process awaken our inner creative. All you need to do is go through your junk drawers and bins, find small items that weigh less than a candy bar and have a hole so myself and volunteers can string them and install them on the tree. As you're gathering up your goodies, getting ready to put them in one of our convenient boxes around the county, before you do so, send us a selfie. Tell us a story of your stuff. Tell us why it is you want to be part of the project. I'll be compiling the videos. They'll play next to the transformed tree. All of this will be part of the International Kinetic Art Exhibit and Symposium in Boynton Beach, February 6th through 8th. Check out elenatobyart.com for the locations for you to drop off your things through December 31st, and I'll meet you at the tree in February. Thanks so much. Hi, my name is Audrey Douglas, and this is what I created for Kinetic Connections. And um, actually, I just uh, chose a lot of um, materials that were here on the premises, and um, I love doing this project. It's wonderful to um, create uh, something from nothing. And uh, I'm anxious to see it on the tree, and I'll see you at the tree. Hi, I'm Debbie Coles de Bay, Public Art Manager for the City, and I'm really enjoying this program because it's so much fun. I have my sunglass selfies going on here. Thank you for the terminology. But um, really what this means to me is these are sunglasses of my husband. So when he sees these strands, he's going to go, uh, 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 what? Uh, what about those? I'm like, they're done, they're over, they need to be repurposed. So here they are, upcycled sunglasses, and meet me by the tree and see them. This is great. Thanks. The community participation is the contributions of items, the coming to workshops with either their things or my things, and designing with ordinary objects creating a design. And it's something everybody and anyone can do because you respond to the object and you say, oh, I want this one here and I want this one there. And then before you know it, you have a segment of a strand. My name is Allie, and I made this board. It's made out of the bat from Halloween, 
then out of my earphones and um, my bracelet. Meet me at the tree. Hi, my name is Jill Hill, and I'm new to the area. We just moved from Atlanta to Boca, and I am a young, dear old friend of Elena Toby, and I'm thrilled to be a part of the Kinetic Connection. I brought some items because we just moved that are somewhat meaningful, and wine is a big part of our lives, and I brought some color into the tree. So I am excited to be a part of it. I'm excited for Elena Toby, and meet me at the tree. Hello, my name is Rachel, and I had an opportunity to participate in a Kinetic Connection, and this is the board that I created. The first piece reminds me of the first piece of jewelry that my mother gave me, so um, I'm, I'm really into pearls ever since. And all these items, they just, they just resonate with a little bit of who I am. I like, you know, the key. It reminds me of a um, children's literature book that I read a long, long time ago, and I was, I was happy to include that, and I hope that I meet you all at the tree. My name is Hunter, and this is the piece I did, and I really like it. Um, basically, I chose a lot of the pieces that I chose that looked a little bit beat up, like this one had a little, a few, like, dents in them, and I also chose this little bow right here, if you can see it. Um, because I love bows, but um, there's a lot of swirly um, circles right here, and I put them in a line, and then there's like a little pinwheel type of looking thing, but I chose the spiral things right here because um, I really like swirly things, and it's so hot outside, and so thank God for wind, so I put like, they kind of look like little swirls of wind. So, um, yeah, I really like my piece, and I'm glad I could participate. Meet me at the tree. You look at something like this, and it, when it first was a possibility that it was going to be, um, you know, when someone actually went to a flea market and bought this stuff, and I thought, oh, you know, plastic, it's going to be, ah. But it is so fantastic, and the shape of it is wonderful, and the twirliness, and it's going to be in its pop of color, and in the sun, it's going to be wonderful, and it just, it just is sort of emblematic of this project of transforming ordinary objects into art. All of a sudden, it's just completely transformed into something else. Hi, my name is Faces. I love these things because they're so shiny and beautiful because the, I love them. The, um, the, I think they were awesome and wonderful. Now wave and say, meet me at the tree. Bye. Meet me at the tree. <laughs> uh, my name is Joelle. I'm uh, coming today for uh, Kinectic in Heart. I make a piece of art with some recycled things. It's just the idea is to share with everybody and means that we are a lot of community around the world and to share it all together. So you can meet me at the tree. Hello, my name is Tommy Roach. I came out as an artist to participate in another artist's work. Um, this artwork today was inspired by just the energy of the room, good people, good quality fun, um, putting something into motion. Thank you. Meet me at the tree. My name is Joycelyn Patrick, and I'll start at the top here. This is the a lampshade, actually, a miniature lampshade 
this is indicative of the circle of life for me. Cool sunglasses. This is a replica of an album from my friend Michael Jackson. He and I are so cool. We have to wear shades. And the end. Meet me at the tree. Tell him what you did. What, how did you I get did, all these things on here? Um, I found all these things from a garbage can. <laughs> <laughs> and I made it into this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, meet me at the tree. Meet me at the tree, whoever you are. <laughs> Great job. Bye. Bye, Bob. Um, I'm Lillian Vixen, and I uh, live in West Boynton Beach, and I saw this lovely article in the paper about this um, art project that uh, you have, and um, I, I'm, I'm a saver, a hoarder, <laughs> not really a hoarder, but I have everything. I don't throw anything away because I'm always sure that I can probably use it for something else, and so I brought um, this uh, hanging piece that you would put on a glass door and um, uh, it was given to me by a very, very dear friend of mine about 25 years ago and um, I didn't want to part with it but I thought that it would be nice if it uh, could hang uh, someplace um, it, as an in memoriam to her and so I constructed this um, art project today and um, here it is hi my name is Shani Simpson I'm an artist and I am friends with Elena Toby Singer and I wanted to come here and support her today um, as I was running a little bit late, I just thought, oh, I'll have time to do one board to contribute to the tree. And it ended up turning into three, and there's significance behind it. I ended up doing a visual triptych of um, potential hanging displays of my mother, myself, and my sister. Um, this past year has been incredibly difficult for our family. My mom had a recurrence of colon cancer, and... So it was a lot. My sister and I came back, we helped her out. She is better now. But much like that event was unexpected in my life, the fact that I made a triptych today was unexpected as well. I came in to do one, but just felt like, oh, I could, that the idea kind of evolved. And so I'm like, can I get one more board? Can I get one more board? <laughs> so here's my three. And so this is a reflection of my life life in general, things change, things can happen. It kind of mirrors my own artistic process, but in this way, I'm really happy that I could contribute to someone else's own and make something really beautiful. Um, you'll see in the pieces that there are similar elements of circles, um, of color. I try to make it so that in using everyday objects or discarded objects that somehow it represented elements of my mom and sister and me, um, the beauty of my mom, and just rep repetitive elements between these two, because over the past year you realize how much, well I realize how much alike my sister and I were, so there's a lot of similar elements between the boards that represent us, and together they work as a unit. And they do so by this piece right here. It's repeated in all three. That's my story. I'll see you at the tree. So we had four community workshops. And folks brought stuff. And then they played with the stuff that I had on the table. And compositions happened. And junk turned into art. And people got excited. And made up stories in reaction to these objects and told stories of objects that they had for a long time or a short time or that they got from someone or that it reminded them of something. 
after all those compositions were gathered, the next level of creativity began in the stringing bees. And a whole other group of people came together and strung those compositions. And while everyone was true to the intention of the original compositions, there are other things that came into consideration when stringing. First of all, clanking, the clank factor, the tinkle, the tinkle factor as we call it. That's important. We expect when we go outside and we see things move, we want to hear the sound. We want to not just see the wind, but we want to feel, we don't, we want to feel it, we want to hear the wind. And also there's some physics involved here. What goes on the top and what goes on the bottom and the heaviest on the top and the lightest on the bottom. So all, all those kind of considerations were brought into the compositions of the artists who created the original designs and then the stringers who were part of helping create it together. I'm Debbie Mostel. I love Elena Toby Singer's work. I have three of her strands in my house, and they're right by my cat door. So when the cat goes through the little door, her tail wags, and it rings the bells at the bottom of the strand. And that alerts the dog to come. And the dog comes to chase the cat. I love her work, and I'm very happy to be part of this project. Thank you. Oh, meet me at the tree. These are the board art that I did. My name's John, John Finn Hill, and I did one for my dad, Raymond Hill. My board is mainly about school, and this chain right here is more like religi religious factor in my life. First house down here, a bunch of other things that I like to do in my free time. And on this one, I'm not sure if you can see it. This one is for my dad. This represents like a keychain that they give you in the National Guard. And it's in honor of my grandpa. He was my dad was in the National Guard and my grandma. My, not my grandma, but my grandpa was in the Vietnam War. CDs, he likes music, just like me, first house. And this thing right here is a resemblance of how strong he is because he's a stage four colon cancer patient. Um, we're like real close to being remission, so right, this is him being as stuff as steel. Meet me at the tree. So hi, my name is Dee Palazzo, and this is my piece for Kinetic Connections. And the reason I put it this way is because I know on the tree things need to hang literally, but I like when things are off-center a little bit. So I put these pieces kind of juxtapositioned so it is a little off-center, some of them. So I think this project is amazing. It's done by my amazing friend, Elena Toby Singer. And I love how organic it is and how it comes in through the K-pop tree, which is at such a history in Palm Beach County. And I recommend this project to anyone. Meet me at the tree. Hey, don't forget, meet me at the tree. Hi, um, I'm really excited about some of the things that I created. I came here with this energy, and you can see on my shirt I have this wonderful Nefertiti um, here with me. Um, this represents a couple different things. Here, of course, this is the portal. I've got these two little things that look like feet, and so that sort of begins my travel here. Then um, one of the things that you'll see is this um, source here, which is this place where so many possibilities. It's never um, one way or the other because you can see it from so many different angles. So that's like life and spirit and soul and everything. And kinetic. I mean, you never know which way it's going to go. So um, all of that then went into this piece of love.
you know, where that's the place where it all dwells. And then here is another piece that sort of connects this to the next piece. So that's this one. So one of the things that I love about this kapok tree and part of why I chose this particular tree for this specific installation is its history of being a place of gathering. Um, let's say almost 90 years ago, this was an important tree, one of four important trees that were planted in the days when we planted trees as monuments, as landmarks of places to gather. And here we are today gathering again around this tree and bringing uh, renewed connection, renewed importance, and uh, community. Hi, I'm Lillian Ostagai, uh, with the women's club, member of the Women's Club for the last 15 years, maybe. Past president, past a lot of things. <laughs> But we decided we wanted to do this to be a part of the art in, in uh, Boynton Beach. And I'm Dot Nina, and I've been in it for 20 years in the Boynton Women's Club, and I'm here to help them along with setting these up for it. And I'm Pat Kropp with the Boynton Women's Club, and we've had a good time this morning working on uh, part, our part for your beautiful tree. So come on down and see the tree. Very good. Meet me at the tree. Meet us at the tree. Meet us at the tree. There you go. Thank you. <laughs>
and my bottom section it has the love and more peace and love and bells and uh, a little piece of ceramic that I made also as a business card kind of business card ceramic and please meet me at the tree mother and my father because I've always said that my creative genes come from my mom because she was the one who identified as art and her business was Z art and I'm the fruit of Zart and here though is my father's section of a strand and he came into this reluctant and uncertain wanting to help and be a part of it but saying that he failed knots in Boy Scouts and he I love his design I love the way he put it together um, it, it's fantastic. It's a wonderful, I love this. I really love it. I mean, it's really, really neat the way he combined things and unique actually to anyone else how he ended up combining these things. So here, here, Herbis, you are an artiste. So I got it on both sides. Really didn't know what to expect when I came. I was just coming to support a friend. So half asleep, I sat down and realized I don't have on any earrings. So I created what I would put on my ears if it was if it was something. So I did circles. I created squares. So I like circles and squares on my ear, and I like them to be long and dangly. The other two pieces are pieces that I bought from home that actually represent me. I always call myself a sun, moon, stars child. So I have two pieces, one's of the sun and one's of the, of the moon. So meet me at the tree. Hi, my name is Trish and I am here with the uh, Kinetic Connection and I'm really excited to um, bring my things here for the tree. I run by the tree every day, it's on my path of running and I thought I would be really inspired to bring my things so that I could see them all the time. And I'm ending with a good luck charm right here. See you at the tree! Hi, my name is Jamal Johnson, and I came here to do this art piece, and this one I did for my father because he like he likes to build stuff, and I did this for my dad too because he's like a DJ and he does music. Meet me at the tree. My name is John Thomason, and this is my Kinetic Connection. I showed up here today from Boca Raton Magazine to write a profile on Elena Toby in our February issue, and I stayed to create this artwork. And um, I'm not an artist, but once I started working on it, I became very particular about what pieces I wanted, and uh, the overall theme, I guess, of this piece is crossed keys. And I will see you at the tree. This is my kinetic connection strand. Um, I chose objects that had some dimension to them. I didn't particularly want objects that um, were flat. So I wanted to have some uh, 3D perspective, especially this is probably my favorite piece. I bent it into the shape that it has. Um, and this handle too, I thought was really cool. Um, really gave it more of a dimension to my strand. I'm really happy to be a part of this community project. Uh, all these strands coming together with other people's creations. And thank you and thanks to Elena. Meet me at the tree. Thank you.
Well, hello, my name is Tina Law. And um, I brought in these pieces because um, I want them to show um, inspiration to all people that no matter where you start, from the left, from the right, up or down, you can always choose your own path. And I chose these shiny pieces because um, it always reflects light and light always um, is a positive thing. You know, things positive happen in the daytime. So, and the circles are just that things always come back around. So if you miss it the first time, you always get a second chance. Meet me at the tree. One of the central ideas of this project for me is not necessarily art for art's sake, but um, connection for connection's sake. And the connections we have to our objects and the connections that this project has in bringing people together. And through very, uh, perhaps, long forgotten objects, they make us remember when we give them a new attention. And in reimagining them into art, they do become special. excited to be here today to uh, participate in this super cool art project. Um, we rummaged through the house and we found some awesome objects um, representative of some of the things that uh, we do for work and for fun. My love here is a landlord and, a, and rehabs apartment building so we've got some uh, doorknobs and what is this? That's the inside of the doorknob. The inside of a doorknob, of course. <laughs> That's the lock set. Of course, the lock set, yes. Um, some craft projects that were never realized with these washers and a little bit of my favorite is that a, a necklace one of my very best friends gave to me once that uh, she'll be so thrilled that it lives on in a, in a new way. So this was a, this was a fun project. Meet us at the tree. Meet us at the tree. Hi, my name is Christina. Um, this, when I put this, it looks beautiful. Then um, I like to seize all of these and the buttons and some leaves. And this one I like the most and this too. And, and uh, uh, this one I like. Uh, the most Hi, I'm Cindy Vincent. I live in uh, the neighborhood. I've been here for 15 years. Um, this is my board. I'm a holistic uh, open heart surgical nurse down at Holy Cross Hospital in Fort Lauderdale. And so this is a great, great idea for the community. I just love it. I'm going to get tearful, so. Uh, but I just felt like I needed to start things um, with a, a, a top so we can do a string. And then I wanted to end it with, uh, I love wood. And uh, that's why I wanted to end it with that. And I'm very holistic and I believe in the Holy Spirit and Jesus and stuff. And uh, that's what all the white is all about. And um, the buttons, uh, the Lord Jesus, it's about right in the heart area. I couldn't find any hearts, so that's the key to my heart. And uh, the older buttons and stuff reminds me of the past, and I just love it. And um, we're going to, I'm here with my grandson, and we're going to look for our art on the tree every time he comes and visits and I just appreciate the, what the artist is doing for our community. Thank you. My name is Kaya and the reason I like this show is because it's shiny and it's purple. This I like about it is that um, it's golden. Um, and it's shiny. This I just wanted to put on. That is the same thing. So is that. I wanted to make a little pattern. 
And then I just like to that I put it on. Show the, show the camera. <laughs> and that you can't really see. Okay. And this is a shiny thing that I like. Okay. And that's a key. And this is a um um just something. Hi, my name is Agatha Ren. This is a piece I created. Interpretation is open. If you want to talk about it, come and meet me at the tree. Hi, my name is Jill, and this is my art that we're adding to the tree. Um, and I have little duck feet that remind me how I'm walking in my faith, and how I have a little curly cue. Well, this is an angel, so she reminds me of faith and God sending his angels to us to help us. And then this is the spiral of life, how life goes. And as long as we run to Jesus, our guardian, guardian angel never leaves us alone. And that is the key to a happy life. So that's my piece of this tree of life. So, and this is my granddaughter. Hi. <laughs> and her name is Amora. I put... Circles? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Speak up a little. These circles that look like bright life rafts that tells me that God will always help me Ooh. when I am having problems in life. <laughs> and the keys are for opening new doors to new adventures and different things to see. Great. That sounds the good. The bow is to express myself and express and to tell other people to express themselves. And this is a little life raft, the same thing as these two. And this is a tiny Bible, a tiny Bible keychain that kind of explains the whole piece of art. Okay, and we'll see you at the tree. Hello again. This is Joyce Lynn Patrick again. Uh, this actually is another circle of life. And these are some of the things that make me happy. This is my lamp from, it's a bookmark and a book lamp. I love reading and I love music. And I'm kind of, I, I spring out of bed in the morning. That's what this is for. And I just think that happiness, the key, is the key to life. Thank you. Meet me at the tree. Hi, I'm Debbie Coles to Bay. I'm public art manager for City of Boynton Beach. I'm so happy the Kinetic Connection program was part of the International Connector Exhibit and Symposium because it's fabulous and I had to participate in it. So I have some cool pieces. What I have here is something that was my mom. She loved this kinetic stuff hanging everywhere. So this is from her lamp and she's no longer around. 
Um, she loves suns and moons. Uh, she always wanted to go to Italy. She never got a chance to, unfortunately. And chimes are her thing. So this is one dedicated to my mom. And then this one is, again, kind of stuff that I had around my house that I'm like, what am I doing with this stuff down my junk drawer? That's what you're supposed to do is find stuff in your junk drawer. So this was my Snow Queen. It's my little ornament that I have for years and years and years. And I was, you know, did the lock up and raised lots of funds for Moscow Dystrophy. And then again, just other things of, that were in my garden, because I am love gardening, so I brought all these little fun things together, and I enjoyed it. And meet me at the tree and see them there. Bye. Janice, I'm from West Palm Beach, and my board represents to me a change in life. I, these keys, this, this, and this for all in a keychain of a friend of mine whose apartment I used to watch and who moved away and I their keys are and I want to remember them always living dead. This railroad is commemorates my friend John, who's a railroad fanatic. And the rest of it I picked up little trinkets to decorate it from the table. Meet me at the tree. Hi, I'm Ann Miller, and I've lived in Boynton 30 years, and I was so happy when Elena had this project of repurposing your junk, and so I am a collector of junk, and I have much junk. I was so excited to see her <laughs> have this in the paper, and I'm hoping more and more people do see this to come to this Boynton junk, but these are things that I've collected and saved for years and years, or just stuff that's broken that I'm not going to let go of. But now she's going to demonstrate them and show them in the tree in Boynton. But I collect suns and hearts, and these are just things that mean something to me because they were just laying around. Bells, these are, uh, they glow in the dark, and they're curtain poles, which are not allowed to use curtain poles anymore because kids put them in their mouth. But this just came to me because I got a brand new microwave, and this is parts that I don't need for the microwave, but I could use it for my art and suns, I collect suns and hearts and bells and this is just a lock, but all of it means something. It's not going into the dumps. We have Mount Crashmore here in Florida and we don't need any more in the dumpsters. These are just gonna be amusing. They're left over from Mardi Gras straws, Mardi Gras, anyway, just art, junk, but it's repurposed and neat. Peace signs, very into peace. Broken earrings, you guys can bring anything you want that's lightweight, has a hole in it, and string it up. And it'll mean more to you when you see it hanging in the K-pop tree. And this is just more missing parts, earrings, grass, stuff that was in the yard, in the garage, stuff that's not going to, into the dump, it's going to be sentimentally hanging. And so meet me under the tree. Thank you. Bye. The K-pop tree is one of four historic trees that was planted to designate the center of town about 90 years ago. In the 60s, one was cut down for an asphalt parking lot. In the 70s, another was cut down for a multi-story parking lot. And today, we bring, to, we bring new life and new attention to this K-Pak tree with all of the people who brought their stuff and all of you who are here today to not only see this stuff, but to appreciate this beautiful tree that is uh, alive in a new way with us all coming together. Good morning, my name is Cynthia Palmieri and I'm here to make a kinetic piece. Um, I fell in love with kinetic art and forms in the 1970s while watching my first movable crane. Um, I myself as a sculptor used and made kinetic art using fish lines and lures, um, kind of putting mathematic equations. 
So um, I am familiar with Elena and the beautiful work that she does, and my work is just an homage to her work. So thank you, and meet me at the tree. My name is Max Simer. I put together a lot of junk. In fact, I save junk. I'm a junk junkie, and I never throw anything out. And I have to always recycle something. So this is my idea of recycling. And uh, I uh, really, my home is a recycling plant. I just recycle everything. And, and eventually I have to recycle the recycling part. So this is my contribution to recycling. I'm Jennifer Ford. I work with Data Drug Abuse Treatment Association. And my job there is working with teenagers that are in recovery. I do art therapy with them. Um, I'm not an art therapist, but I use their techniques. And they have an uh, uh, opportunity to just express themselves by using art. And today I came down here to express myself and then be able to share that with our teenagers. Uh, Resource Depot has been an amazing uh, help to me as far as giving me uh, resources to use with our teenagers at the Kelly Center on 45th Street. So now I'm going to share with you some art that I did. And that is, this one is called the Open Heart. And there are some keys on there that are part of me and a part of my heart. Uh, I've been working with teenagers for 23 years now and I've enjoyed every single day of it. Um, so that is my heart. Uh, data is my heart and I love working there. So that's why there's so many keys on there. Um, so the next one I did was a little bit more about, um, I guess, form. Um, it has a formal format and I did that because that is a sense of way people look at our facility sometimes and as much as they seem to think that we're formal we do get the job done with the kids and we make a difference and um, I appreciate that so much that people are realizing that data can make a difference out there but the most important part is meet me at the tree <laughs> Hi, my name is Addis. Uh, I live in Boynton Beach. I came to join this and uh, participate in making these boards from leftover jewelry that I had or got from a garage sale. And I'd like you to meet me at the tree and see them hung up. Hi, my name is Carla Walger, and I'm so excited to be here to create some kinetic art. I met Elena Toby Singer a few years ago, and we definitely connected. And I connected with her kinetic art, and she had an installation at Palm Beach State College where I run the gallery, and it was the, one of our favorite exhibitions with her work, Movement. It drew a big crowd of people. They loved it. And so I'm here today, and I made five of these. And my connection to, let's see, is it this one? This was, my husband is in construction, so he put this, he loves, he saves everything. So we have all kinds of objects here, found things from construction, a pole. Um, here I have a glass bead that a friend of mine made and a dog tag from one of my dogs. I also have another one with two dog tags and a dog collar and the dog collar and the green dog tag is from my dog Shadow who passed away a few years ago. So this is kind of a tribute to Shadow, my husband, and um, I'll meet you at the tree. My name is Joycelyn Patrick, and 
these are my family members. This is me. As you can see, it's a nut. And that would be me. And this is my daughter, Amanda. My son, Brian. My daughter, Nia. My daughter, Tamika. And six grandchildren. Uh, Courtney. Shamari, Rodney, Brandon, Byron, and Brian Jr. And this little button is one that's in the oven that hasn't been born yet, but I feel like I know her already. And her name is going to be Zandria, and her nickname is Zandy already. Meet me at the tree. Hi, my name is Agatha Wren, and this is a piece for the tree. It's a little reflection of society. If you want to know more about it, come and meet me at the tree. Um, and then as they're put together, there's another layer of design that happens and the way the objects relate to each other and the way they twirl off the string and the way the person who's putting them together affects the design. So all of a sudden you have these objects, but the person who's putting together is adding his or her influence into the strand design. And then also we have to just be practical. We have to, even though at the time of designing a strand, um, they didn't necessarily design, oh, these strands, these sections are going to be towards the top, which I need heavy things, and these are going to be towards the bottom where I need light things. Mm -hmm. So there's a certain um, curatorial and decision-making that I, as the chief you know, creator or, or orchestrator of this project, needs to make some decisions about you know, perhaps changes to the designs that people did in the workshops because of functionally we need to make it work. I'm Kathy Spiel. This is my husband, Paul Spiel. Hello. And we have just created a kinetic connection. We are so excited to be part of this amazing project, and we look forward to seeing everyone's work displayed in February in Boynton Beach. That's absolutely correct. We're looking forward to it. We're really excited. We wanted to tell you a little bit about our creations today. Um, when I was designing my creation, I uh, chose pieces that reminded me of the constellations, and I positioned them, well, some of them are laying flat, and some of them are kind of coming out to think that, uh, or to show that we should think about um, the world and the constellations and the heavens, and the whole world about it more than one way. Go ahead. And the pieces that I chose today spoke to me because I kind of displayed them in a yin and yang way. So I have light and dark combined on the pieces. And I just chose the ones that looked interesting to me. So thank you again for letting us be a part of this project and meet us at the tree. My name is Laura Atria, and I participated today in making Kinetic Connections. Uh, this is one of the things that I brought, and it's my favorite because I found it on a walk, and it's really rusty, and I've been wanting to mail it to Elena so it can be part of her artwork for months, but I keep forgetting, so now it can be. So I will see you at the tree. one that I did, this one, there's a key up here. So the key and this cylinder piece is the knob that you hold to open the door. And then once you go through the door, you have, there's, this one has another um, viewpoint where you're going to look through. And one that you don't see right here is a little spring, which is about once you go through this door, there, there has to be a level of flexibility 
for you to unshackle the different things that bind you so that you can then be free, which this will be, these are wings, representative of wings, and then again, this key that helps you to remain free. Hi, my name is Regan, and this is my creation. What I like best about it is that we're repurposing um, old things and making new art. And my, the other thing I like about it is that it's the combination of the old and the new, and the shiny and the oxidized, and I like it. So meet me at the tree. Hello, my name is Rose, and I came here today to help with this kinetic project. These are pieces that my mother gave me, a box of jewelry and pieces she had that she didn't want anymore because I'd make ceramic woman goddesses faces and I put holes in them and I string beads. So she was inspired by that, so she gave me this box and these are some of the pieces and I'm glad to share them with this project and look forward to looking to the, for the tree. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Luz Almi, and I come here to introduce my art. Uh, these are memories of me going all over the world, wearing all these pieces, and I left a little piece of each one of them somewhere in the world. So I think it's meaningful. And same with this, uh, this particular piece, um, it's all from Hawaii, from what I understand, all the beads, and these are real stones. I really love chains. Uh, they remind me of commitment, and these are presents. So these are a present from me to you. Thank you. <laughs> and please meet me at the tree. So, what do we have here? Goodies that were part of Kinetic Connections event today. Miscellaneous hardware, an incense burner, a bell, another bell, old jewelry, a hose knob, a napkin holder. These are perfect to upcycle into art. And the next opportunity is November 8th at the City Boynton Library. Come play. Come re- Imagine your everyday junk into art. And it doesn't look like much on this cardboard, but when we string it together and it hangs in eight foot long strands from the Cape Park tree here in Boynton Beach, Florida, it's going to be wonderful. And I'm excited for you all to be part of it. Uh, I'm Nico Kerman, and uh, I created this work of art. I know it's beautiful. Um, I took different, you know, unique things that were you know, just average things and put them all together. And uh, they, they really uh, work uh, together as a collage. And when they're gonna be strung together, it's gonna look beautiful. Um, like take, for example, uh, this average everyday life key, you know. Makes you think, you know, where did this come from? And, you know, we're gonna see it on a tree and it's gonna look cool, you know. Uh, so uh, meet me at the tree, guys. Oh, now? Okay. Um, it's funny, as a kid, I never really had good penmanship, and I never was really good at art. However, doing this actually turned out to be quite fun. Hi, Kinetic Connection! Yeah. Kinetic Connection. Woo. This is a Kinetic Connection! We're having fun making Kinetic Connection! Oh, no, 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 no! Hi, I'm Kim Fleming, and this is my Kinetic Connection. 
These pieces all came from my kitchen drawer, believe it or not. I'm not the most creative person, but it was a lot of fun. See you at the tree. One starts with that freedom, that flight, and these are wings here at the top. And then again, it's just going through these places and spaces. And this one is kind of like not a perfect piece, and because we're not perfect, and for me, that's a lot of growth because I'm such a perfectionist. I used to be a perfectionist, now I'm about the, the progress and the path instead of the perfection. So um, me going through this portal, and again, um, there are these pieces that are more ancestral, um, just you've lived, so that's what this is. So I had a wonderful time, and I want you all to meet me at the tree. Hello, my name is Donald Fleming, and I am here with my pieces of art. Basically, this one is a display of black and white, and this one actually is a self-portrait. If you look at it closely, it kind of spells Donald. Nonetheless, meet me at the tree. Meet you at the tree. <laughs> Hi, my name is Nancy Jameson. Um, I became involved with Kinetic Connections when I met Elena and I was attracted to her art because I love the idea of repurposing things that have been discarded and uh, seem not to be beautiful anymore. Um, and my favorite piece here is the little hammer at the top. And the story is that in 1985, when I first moved in with a lover, this was a housewarming gift, and it's just kicked around in my toolbox ever since then. And after receiving it, I've given it that same set to many, many people as housewarming gifts over the years. And the other piece that I like to talk about is this clamp, which is a mechanic's worst nightmare. I was an auto mechanic for many years, and these clamps are impossible to take off and they actually eventually replace them with ones that are much more adjustable and easier to deal with. So when I saw it there, I said, oh, perfect. Um, and I'm really excited about the way that it's brought community together and people that otherwise wouldn't have met each other. And that's it. Meet me at the tree. Meet me at the tree. And this is like a little button and a little bow. The bow represents like breast cancer. And the string is like a little shiny. And this, this marble is called my magic marble. And this, and this bracelet recommends for people who have heart problems. And this is like from this bell from the key. And you can meet me at the tree. Hi, I'm Sharon Halupka, and this is my art pieces right here. Um, I am a sculptor by trade. Uh, many of the things that are on here are from my studio. Um, some of the things are just things that are kind of dear and close to me. The bracelet on there was given to me by an old boyfriend, but it's not real, so I said, good thing you're not my boyfriend anymore. Um, the spool is from my grandmother's... Um, sewing kit that she passed on to me before she passed on um, and then there's just a few other little odds and ends that I found around here and other places so it's just a hodgepodge of my life um, meet me at the tree hi I'm Claudia Block I live in Lake Worth and uh, I made something today which represents 
um, the work that I do on a daily basis, which is jewelry making. And so these are spools uh, that were originally used. They have fire line on them, and they're empty. And I've also uh, included thread, chain, and some beads. And uh, meet me at the tree. Hi, my name is Dottie. I'm from West Palm Beach, Florida, and this is my board. I made a little uh, ornament here in memory of my dad, and meet me at the tree. Hi, my name is Barbie. I'm from West Palm Beach, Florida. My board represents my family, and my daughter also made this for me, and meet me at the tree. Hello, I'm Adam. Uh, my board, I included a Lego piece to represent creativity and childhood. Meet me at the tree. I'm Vicki Siegel, and I've come to make some art today with Elena, and here we go. I have um, this page has a bunch of things that my father left to me in my garage and shoe boxes and they're all sorts of old tools and pieces and bits of whatever and then this one has old hangers that I've twisted and uh, turned and recycled into art so meet me at the tree I'll be there fun for me in this project is to see not only the transformation of this tree but the transformation of people who say oh I'm not an artist I'm not creative I don't know how to paint I don't know how to draw and that's not about any of this this is about um, anyone and everyone can look at things in your junk drawer and you have a reaction to it. You have a response to those objects and how you like them placed together, how you don't like them placed together, and voila, you've created a composition. You've done something artistic and creative with otherwise what would be considered junk. My name is Aubrey and I love about these boards because they're so fun and they're old stuff that I never did before and this is my first time here and meet me at the tree. My name is Mila Troitsky and I'm very happy to participate in this uh, workshop. Um, I'm trying to express uh, compositions of the various pieces and uh, very happy to add my energy to the tree together with the other people and participants. So thank you so much for inviting me.